I take the axis, remember your lever systems, three lever systems in physics? Huh, it's 27 years. So you get in those lever things here. With this here, and if I ask him to flex, that biceps contracts, yes? Yes. The biceps tendon is going to go anterior. Does that make sense? Yep. I don't say biceps. Oh, ouch! <laughs> okay? So the ligament sits here. So it would make sense that that tendon gets pulled superiorly, anteriorly, however we're looking at it. That way, against the transverse ligament. Would you want to have the hand supinated? Or could yes. The bicep and I'm going I'm to get specific. I just was demonstrating. Good point. So what happens, this is how we're going to do this. You've got a medial and lateral attachment to structure because it's a bridge and I got it inside and outside. So what I can do, I can bias it. So if I take the humerus and I immediately rotate, I've just taken that groove and gone like this. Bicep's still there. So now when the bicep's tight, it's going to go bam against the lateral. lateral lip. So when I immediately rotate, I palpate, go about 45 degrees of flexion here, palpate over the biceps tendon, and I'm going to resist flexion of the elbow, but also flexion of the shoulder, which is here. So I'm going to do resisting there. I'm pulling out and down at the same time. Boom. And I'm trying to get that tendon to pop up. Okay? Ouch, it hurts. Could be biceps, could be transverse ligament. So what I do is I bias the other side. And this happens all the time. Oh, that one's not nearly as bad. So you'll find changes from the medial to the lateral. So I come to the same place, palpate. I'm resisting flexion. I'm sorry, the resisting extension, an extension of the elbow. So I'm going to pull down and feel if there's a pop of the tendon laterally rotating. And that's all he's got lateral. That's why he's there. Hold right there. And I test there. Okay? Now, to exclude the transverse ligament, to isolate the biceps tendon, I simply go into extension. Now, if he contracts his biceps, that tendon stays in the groove. There's no way for it to pop this way. Now it gets pulled into the groove, away from the ligament. And I've maximally stretched the tendon, which sensitizes the sensitivity to a tendonitis of a muscle. So that's why we test it. So here we come into here. He is supinated here, hold here, and now don't make push your arm down. So I'm pushing him into extension and elbow extension both. That's where we test. Gosh, that didn't hurt. Catch was leaving. Yes? Yes. Okay.